YouTube channel guys, we are now at Ghoul. Um, obviously I didn't start in the, I didn't want to start the video in the dark, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's now daylight and like I said we've just arrived in Ghoul Tesco. I'm just going now, um, yeah, it's quite icy around here, it's not as icy near base, near home. Yeah, we're just going to drop this uh, this trailer with cages off and pick up another job, pick up another trailer. Um, that's going to be going to Great Harwood Tesco. Um, I'm pretty sure I've never been there, to be fair. So we'll uh, see what that's like. So, this trailer needs a service, so I need to park it. Well, I need to go drive up to a goods out office, get some paperwork filled in, and then park it around the garage. Been told. Right, so I'm just going to park this up. It's a lot to move it. Walk down over there, fill out a form, and then see where I'm going to park it in the near the garage. Get it. Whew, it's cold. Right, so I'm going round to the garage now. Apparently, this trailer, even though this Tesco trailer is linked to Google, it's not in the system to generate. Uh, Number, it's called the E number. So we can do the job. So they said go around, drop it off. Let's go speak to him first because they might reject it. It's not really something I want to be doing, messing about. I've got all the chances, I could do it. I want to get off and start delivering my job. Checks are done on the loaded trailer. I'm just going to get out of here. Yeah. Make sure my camera isn't 
something else outside of the door. Yeah, for some reason. Going to Great Harwood. I just didn't think it was where it was. <laughs> uh, for some reason, I thought it was like north, northeast of Manchester somewhere. I'm thinking of Harewood. Yeah, it's up near Blackburn area, BB6, uh, Post Guard. Uh, so yeah, it's um, I'm not sure if it's an extra or not, but it has got a yard. Uh, look at the uh, risk of settlements. Every time you get a job out of the distribution sensor, uh, it comes with a uh, risk assessment of the yard, on how to back up, where to go, things like that. Uh, sometimes it's even how to get there. Uh, so I think the one in Salford, it has it has instructions not to use a sat nav, just because it's going the wrong way. I still use a sat nav when I, when I go, uh, I just know which, which way to go, so I looked at it before I went. If you just type in the postcode and, and head over there, you're going to end up in a pickle. Right. Also, when you come out of this place, uh, when they give you the paperwork, they give you a unique exit code. Just so when you enter that and the gate opens, they know that um, this load has, has left. Code well, accepted. So, yeah, so I'm the system now. It shows us the load has left site. And now it has. Yeah, hope everyone's well. Um, yeah, trying to catch up with, with vlogs, trying to do a bit more now. So if I just commit to doing one on a Sunday and it takes two or three days to edit it, and you, I could end up with a couple of boring days after that where I don't film. So it ends up just being one, one a week, or less. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying them. Um, the feedback I'm getting on the comments is that you are. Um, yeah, Tommy's at that going to Great Howard. Um, it's going to go all the way across the ticket to, to the um, turn off for Berry M60, not 61. 66, sorry, and head straight to north. That's how we're going to get to it. Okay, it's going to be a tail lift job anyway. Um, look at the look at the risk assessment. There's no bays. There's a bay for um, double deckers, but the other bay is just a doorway. It's just a, I've rolled the shutter so uh, yeah, it'll be a tail lift job. Looks like I will have to take a break before I get there. Just for the driving time. Break, so I need to take a, take a 15 minute break. I'll be able to head all the way up there then. It'll, be, it'll just be a bit close if I, if I drive all the way up there. Right, welcome back. We are close by now, I believe. Yeah, not much, not far. Not a mile away. Yeah, so it's a, it's a super store. So it, it is a big store. It's, like I say, it's got a yard. Obviously, the, uh, the the risk assessment shows. So I think it's like one one truck in at a time, like most of them are really. Um, it would just be a bit tight for two. So it's technically not got open. You 
usually has a circle where you can, you can go either way uh, so you can fully turn it around so it's just saying one arrow so it's indicating it's going to be a bit tight I'll go and ring the bell. Yeah, it's a noise sensitive store. So you're not allowed to use, sound your horn. You have to switch the engine off, which you have. You have to disable reversing beeps, which you can do. But surely it goes against health and safety. Um, that's, so that's disabled. Uh, switch the engine off. Switch off fridge if it's a frozen, which it's not. Don't look here. Do not shout or talk loudly. How close are we to people's houses here? <laughs> oh, the bear's open. That's good. Very good. Tail left job. Off left. I'll spin it round as I'm going in there. Perfect. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Right, so um, that is done. It took just under an hour. Um, it was easy to unload. Unload, it's just. You have to wait for the tail lift to go up and down and then take it off. Um, but it'll, it was a lot easier than using the, the tail lift. You're going to get three, three uh, cages on that with that, with that with that big lift. You get nine. So it was a lot easier. Just a bit of waiting around. Um, yeah, all is good. That is unloaded and cages are loaded on now. Obviously you can see when I was backing in, we've got a lot of empty cages to go back. Um, I don't know how it, it builds up, to be honest, because if you... I'm taking 32 cages in and I'm taking 90 out. So if they do that all the time, I don't see how they've got extra cages, but... Yeah. Either way, we're uh, taking 90 cages off them. base all fueled up. Uh, right, we'll find a parking spot. 